Well, if in fact they do go south, auto loans do go south, uh, does it tell us something about where we are in the credit cycle? Does it indicate that in fact we may be getting long in the tooth in the credit cycle and we might expect defaults in other sorts of loans? Uh, I, I don't think in necessarily if it's in the subprime sector, if it spreads, then, then it would tell you that there's something worrisome happening and something that doesn't make sense given everything else we know about the U.S. consumer. Why would they choose to be uh, delinquent on a certain kind of loan? Um, and then why wouldn't we see it pick up in things like housing and other areas? So, you know, it would mean something odd is happening and, and we'd really have to take a second and examine that. True, historically, though, doesn't it begin in subprime, the credit cycle, when it starts to turn? Isn't that where it starts? Well, I, I think what you saw in housing was that it began in subprime, and what, what happened when everyone was lending in subprime is it created price distortions, right? It boosted prices, and then all of a sudden, everyone had to reach in order to get the house that they wanted. Uh, and so it created credit issues kind of further up the food chain that were masked by the fact that those people weren't, in fact, subprime, uh, but they were more exposed to risk than they thought they were. Drew, as you try to get your arms, as we all do, around the U.S. economy and the state of growth, how important are the auto sales as an indicator more broadly of consumer spending? Uh, they are less important to me than spending on services. So th what, what always causes a recession is when people look around and they say, I'm not going to go get my hair cut because I don't want to spend the 20 bucks today or whatever. As you can tell, I've got a $20 haircut. Um, other people spend more on haircuts, but the important thing is, is if you're willing to spend money on a haircut, you're willing to go to the doctor, you're not putting off the visit to the dentist, uh, things are okay. When you begin to question whether you should be doing those things, that's when the economy actually tends to, to be very sensitive and, and has the potential to roll south.